Global News has learned Canadian troops are preparing to head to Haiti on a peacekeeping mission. Our soldiers are training for deployment this spring. Mike Armstrong has this exclusive report for us tonight. United Nations vehicles are a fairly common sight on the streets of Port-au-Prince. Well, starting in May, some of those trucks will be carrying Canadian soldiers. About 50 troops from the Royal 22nd Regiment, the Van Dues, are in pre-deployment training at Canadian Forces Base Valcartier outside Quebec City. Their mission will last six months. They leave for Haiti May 26th and return to Canada December 1st. Now, the federal government has not yet confirmed this mission officially. They're apparently still crossing their T's and dotting some I's. A spokesperson for Foreign Affairs said simply it would be inappropriate to speculate on further military assistance. That said, things are fairly far along. In addition to the troops in pre-deployment in Canada, several members of the staff are right now in Brazil. The Brazilian Army leads the military component of the UN's mission in Haiti. Now, that mission is called MINUSTA. It was set up following the ouster of President Bertrand Aristide in February of 2004. Its mandate has been extended several times. Things have not been easy for the country. Already the poorest in the Western Hemisphere, it was hit by a devastating earthquake in 2010 that killed more than 220,000 people. Now, the current force level of MINUSTA calls for 6,270 soldiers. That Canada would contribute only 50 surprises retired Canadian Colonel Michel Drapeau. We normally don't deploy very much under a battalion size, so seven, eight hundred people, in order to give it a unit autonomy to have everything that one requires. Drapeau says the mission in Haiti will mean a change of mindset for Canadians who served in Afghanistan. They have to be retrained to think the public is friendly first rather than think everyone is a danger. Now, the UN mission in Haiti has not been without controversy. Some blamed an outbreak of cholera on UN troops dumping sewage. Now, it's unclear whether this Canadian mission is a one-off or the first of several. But considering Haiti is a country with 4.2 million people and only 200,000 formal jobs, the problems are a long way from being solved. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.